everyone, it's Allison here from mealfinds.com and today we are unboxing a box from Radish Kids. And along with the unboxing, stay tuned, we are going to go over pricing and pros and cons because we have reviewed Radish uh, Kids cooking kits in the past. Uh, and for a full review, be sure to look right down below. We have a full updated Radish Kids review. Uh, as well as a link to shop right now if you love what you see and a valuable coupon. So let's dig in. Radish Kids delivers cooking and baking kits for kids ages four to 14. And these kits help kids explore different cultures through food. They also teach some math and science along with cooking and baking skills. So here is your box. So you can order Radish Kids as a one-time purchase, or you can subscribe for regular deliveries. And we think this is such a great gift. Uh, birthdays, holidays, also good for those of you who homeschool, something interesting to do, shake up your lessons a little bit, and a great summer activity for those looking for something to do this summer. So let's dig into our box. All right, we have our packing slip and we got the Chinese Please cooking kit. Now, all of the subscription boxes and the one-time boxes, they come with three recipes with a grocery list, some sort of collectible item, activities and lessons as well as a kitchen tool and then of course you have access to bonus activities online so here's our kitchen tool but let's um let's dig into these first that's so cute a little packet here's one of the activities the china country quiz the answer is right there at the bottom all right so let's open this up and with radish cooking, you'll see kids can collect, this is one of the collectibles, kids can collect these cute little pouches. And um, with certain subscriptions, you get a free apron and you can sew these onto the apron. And it's a really fun thing for kids. They just love collecting things. And isn't this just, it's adorable. So that's one of the collectibles. So let's see, explore China. Chinese, please invite you on a culinary adventure to Asia. Learn to stir fry, shape dumplings, and temper eggs for a classic Chinese soup. Decorate your table with a Chinese lantern. Tool of the month, a dumpling press. And we'll look at that in a minute. And then some questions. What is a stir fry? Name three ingredients that are common in Chinese cuisine. All right, so. And then, like I said, you do have access to bonus recipes, musical playlists, activities, lesson plans, and more online, which is really fun and definitely a bonus. So we get all of these things in here. So let's go through. Chinese, please. Here are your culinary skills, your recipes, egg drop soup, Chinese jiaozi dumplings, beef and broccoli stir fry, collectibles, dumpling press, iron on patch, oh, it's iron on, so you don't disown it, and pop out table talk cards, There's Chinese lantern craft activity, Chinese country quiz that we saw, and here is your grocery list on the back. So one good thing to note, Radish Kids cooking kits, and they have baking kits too, uh, they are not meal kits. Um, so they do provide the recipes and these fun activities and collectibles, uh, but you do have to go and shop for ingredients. So it gives you the ingredients for each of the three recipes. It breaks it down how much you'll need. And so you can just literally take this to the store with you and, and get everything you need. And here's one plan ahead, schedule different days to cook each recipe so you don't not overwhelmed, you're not cooking them all together. If pairing recipes for a single meal, set aside plenty of prep, cook, and cleanup time. Awesome, my son is loves dumplings. 
And when I told him about this, he's 11, uh, he couldn't believe that we were gonna make our own dumplings. So <laughs> wish us luck. All right, here are the recipes. And I don't know if you could tell, but these are nicely laminated. So, you know, it can get messy when you're cooking. So egg drop soup, here's your prep time 10 minutes, cook time 10 minutes, and it yields four servings culinary skills and kitchen connections. What you need, look at all the pictures, so kid friendly for little kids that are gonna need help and big kids. My 11 year old is not a super, not super experienced in the kitchen, so he will definitely need help. Here's a little history lesson that you can read. Science of a slurry. And then here are your steps. Lots of pictures, very simple, short, easy to read instructions. It's perfect. And then mastering measuring spoons, your featured culinary skill. Awesome. That is our first recipe, the egg drop soup. And the recipe we're most excited about, the Chinese Jiaizi dumplings. Don't, don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, but pan fry Chinese dumplings to serve with a tasty dipping sauce. Active kitchen time, 30 to 40 minutes. Cook time, seven minutes. And it yields 24 dumplings. It's a lot of dumplings. Again, what you need in your tools. A little bit about dim sum the Chinese language, your steps to make your dumpling filling, and then your dumplings and your little dumpling press, cooking the dumplings, and food safety rules. And then our third recipe, beef and broccoli stir fry. Make a sizzling stir fry featuring seasoned meat and tender veggies. Prep time 20, cook time 15, yields four to six servings. So obviously if you're a larger family or a smaller family, you can scale up or scale down. That's what's great about not having the ingredients included is that you can get as much or as little as you need. You have the steps, you're making the rice, you're cutting up the veggies and the meat, and then you stir fry. And then using chopsticks, it's a good one. All right, and then this is an activity, creating a Chinese lantern, craft colorful paper lantern to, lanterns to celebrate the Chinese New Year. And then you can use them to decorate your dinner table. Very cute, we'll have to try that one out too. And here's some tabletop cards. These are laminated, again, cards that you can keep. And then why is it important to learn about other cultures? Describe your favorite Chinese food. What is your greatest talent or ability? If you could create a new holiday, what would they be? So semi-related to the theme with the Chinese food, but kind of in general and you know good to keep around, you can just have them. And that's why they're laminated, so you can keep them. Okay, now this is our dumpling press, which I've never used a dumpling press, but so I guess you put the dumpling in there, put the filling in, and then it just presses it together. Pretty simple, nothing fancy, it's plastic, but I think it'll get the job done. All right, so that is it for our unboxing. Let's get into pricing. So a Radish Kids subscription is as low as $20 a box per month with free shipping and you can sign up for a month to month deliveries, three months, six months, or 12 months. And of course, these subscriptions are giftable. Or you can go into the Radish Kids shop and make a one-time purchase. Uh, cooking kits like this one with three recipes are $24. I also saw, saw some others with a single recipe, uh, baking kits for around $15. And in the shop, when you're buying those one-time purchase items, free shipping, 
comes with purchases of $35 or more. And they do ship internationally and shipping rates for international deliveries start at $7. So moving on to pros and cons. So pros, obviously very kid-friendly instructions and activities. It makes a great gift. Uh, what you don't see here is they do have seasonal kits, so like Christmas cookies and things like that that are super fun. And we'd love that you can subscribe or, uh, or make a one-time purchase. Um, some cons. Ingredients aren't included, which again, it's not a meal kit. That could be a pro or a con for you if you like shopping for your own ingredients um, and think that maybe it costs less or if you have a larger or smaller family, you can scale the recipes up or down to fit your needs. So could be a pro, could be a con. Um, you know, with the tabletop cards, sometimes the theme doesn't really uh, connect with those with as we've seen in the past, but with this one, it looks like um, they connect somewhat. Um, and not very many other cons. We, we really love this type of cooking kit and think that the Radish Kids does a really, a really great job. And the price is, the price is not super expensive for what you get and you have access to a ton of online tools. So we will, of course, again, update our review and we have a link right down below to that updated review so you can find out a lot more information. We're gonna cook all of our recipes and make the Chinese lantern so you can check them out. Uh, and if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Uh, we unbox food and beverage products every single week.